Hello my friends, today we are going to talk about the due diligence fee in North Carolina real estate practice. Well, when you are buying property in the state of North Carolina, you have the legal right to negotiate a due diligence fee with the seller. Now typically there's, there's a realtor or two involved and they are going to handle that but it's a question that a lot of buyers and even sellers don't really understand and it's something that I really struggled with when I was new to real estate so let's look at this I'm going to share my screen with you and we'll talk about the due diligence definition okay so this is just off of the internet reasonable steps taken by a person in order to satisfy a legal requirement especially in buying or selling something. So it's due diligence is, is just making sure that you do your homework to decide whether or not you really want to go through with that transaction. Now, when you bring up the real estate offer to purchase and contract in North Carolina, which is growing year by year, it's now up to 15 pages on the when you're filling this out obviously here is the purchase price and then the first deposit that we discuss on this form is the due diligence fee and it's made payable and delivered to the seller by the effective date in other words you sign this contract buyer and seller both sign the contract and they come to an agreement but the due diligence fee is expected to be paid on that day that you go under contract. Now, if we go to page two, we see a little bit more detail and it says that the buyer's opportunity, and this is defining due diligence per North Carolina real estate law, the buyer's opportunity to investigate the property and the transaction contemplated by this contract, including but not necessarily limited to the matters described in paragraph four below to decide whether the buyer and buyer's discretion will proceed with or terminate the transaction. So again, the buyer is doing their homework. They're having an inspection done. If, if it's subject to a mortgage, they're having an appraisal done most of the time. They're going out and knocking on the doors and talking to the neighbors to decide if they really want to live next to these people. Whatever steps the buyer wants to take to ensure that they are able to and willing to complete this transaction they need to do during the due diligence period. Now North Carolina is unique in that we have a due diligence fee and if you read that it's a negotiated amount if any. Does there have to be due diligence? Does there have to be a due diligence fee? There does not. If any, it's a negotiated amount between the buyer and the seller paid by the buyer to the seller with this contract, giving the buyer the right to terminate the contract for any reason or no reason during the due diligence period. So some states have a free look. A lot of times in commercial transaction, there's a free look where no money is exchanged. Maybe there's money held in escrow, typically, and the earnest money, but the buyer will be given a, a week or 10 days, and they're able to kind of do some initial research to decide if they want to look in the property. In residential real estate, we don't have, typically, there, there can be, but typically there's no free look period, okay? The buyers are paying the sellers for the right to terminate with no further penalty during the due diligence period. Now, how long do you need for due diligence if you are a typical home buyer in North Carolina? That's a great question. It really depends on how much work you've done prior to going under contract. Have you already gotten your mortgage fully underwritten? If you're working with a lender who's already seen your tax returns and your pay stubs and giving you, giving you everything that you need to complete the transaction, they've already had your loan package through underwriting, all they're waiting for is the property, 
then you're going to be really far along and you might need a only need a couple of weeks of due diligence. You just need enough time to do an inspection and have an appraisal. And then you can move on and that that's really if you're planning to buy, that's that's the way to definitely go. Now, if you're not so far along in the process or if you're using a bigger institutional lender like one of the national banks, you're going to need more time because it's it takes a lot of time to number one schedule the inspection and then schedule the appraisal and those are the two biggest things that you want to have done during the due diligence period so now if the home is brand new a lot of times buyers are choosing not to do an inspection but it's always a good idea to hire a professional inspector now if the home is older and in a state of disrepair especially if it's got wood siding or or vinyl um, if it seems like there might have been some roof leaks at some at some point, if there was an addition, or if there's any other reason or cause to give you some concerns about the integrity of the home, then I would really strongly suggest that you have your buyer get their inspection done first, and after they've had that inspection done, you get the inspection report back then do the appraisal because if you do if if there's some significant issues with the house and it needs a lot of repairs if there's some settling or the roof is leaking and it's going to be very expensive the buyer may choose to terminate we don't want to have them pay for an appraisal in addition to an inspection if they're planning to terminate so i hope this was helpful keep in mind that the due diligence fee is negotiable it is non-refundable. It is paid directly to the seller on the day that you go under contract. And the seller is able to use that money to do absolutely whatever they want. They don't have to hold it in escrow. They can go buy shoes with it or take their kids to the movies. It doesn't matter. Now, the due diligence amount is always negotiable. And in North Carolina, at least in my market, we're typically seeing... Um, somewhere between 500 and a couple thousand dollars in due diligence money. Now, granted, the higher the price of the house, typically the higher the due diligence amount. On a $150,000 home, $500 might be sufficient. If it's a million dollar home, $500 is not going to do it. The seller's probably not gonna take their home off the market for a measly $500, okay? Now, um, in this environment where there is limited inventory and we're in a strong seller's market and every listing is bringing multiple offers, buyers unfortunately are going to have to really come out of pocket and, and spend a lot more in their due diligence to make their offer as appealing as possible to the sellers. So if you're looking at a two hundred fifty or $300,000 house and there are three or four other offers on it, if you are making even a full price offer or even over list price on your offer and your due diligence fee is 300 or 500 dollars the seller is probably not going to entertain that offer i've seen homes go under contract with due diligence as high as five thousand dollars on uh, on a house in the four hundred thousands so that's sometimes what it takes to get that house under contract. If you have any other questions about North Carolina real estate law, um, I would love to be able to answer your questions. I am managing broker for North Carolina for Call It Closed International Realty. Reach out to me anytime. My phone number is 704-780-3084. Call It Closed is open throughout the entire state of North Carolina. We have agents from Boone all the way down to Wilmington, from Charlotte, and all the way up to Raleigh. So we are everywhere and we would love it if you came and worked with us as well. Thanks for watching. Talk with you soon.